Okay, I'm um, going to talk in a little more detail about uh, the ex-ambassadors renegades. So, um, uh, come on into the left hand, I'll show you the grips. We've got a capo 2, we're going to use an A minor shape, a C shape, you could use this C shape if you like, but I like this one better. And then a G, and then F. So A minor, the whole song is A minor, C, G, and F, which is really in the real key, so in case you have a keyboard player or something, B minor, D, A, and G. Okay, so come on to the left hand. I'm going to show you roughly what you hear on the very first intro. So the first three, two times through the cycle you hear. So it's thumb, middle, thumb, index. Like that. And you just go through the chords. So there's a, uh, the A minor shape. C. Does that twice. Uh, sorry. Don't charge for mistakes. And so then he starts strumming, and it's a it's bass strumming. So you want to hit the bass note clear of each chord first. So you play like. It also, doing this with the bass drumming also helps with the, uh, the transitions of the chords. Just say play A minor. You can play this with a pick, but I'm just playing thumb and then my fingernail like that. Like that. A minor, C, G, F. A minor, C, You could also play with a pick, like, um, I kind of like it that way. Uh, G, F, A minor, C, G, F, A minor, C, G, F, a little slower, A minor. Okay, and then later in the tune you hear a little bit, there's a little undercurrent guitar part where you hear this, uh, like that. And so I've turned it into a finger picking pattern, kind of like what I did last week, I think, where you play. So there's your A minor, I'm playing thumb, thumb, middle, index, thumb, one, two, and, and four. It's a complementary part that accentuates this and of two, one, two, and. It enters kind of on the second verse after the chorus, you'll hear it, but it's kind of in the background. So do it again. One, two, and, and four. 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 A minor. C. G. So, and then, oh, we're going to show one other thing. Okay, um, stop it and I'll come back and show you the little electric part from there. Okay, so there's some nice electric guitar playing on the end that sounds like maybe it was manipulated in a looper, but we're going to just take a look at one of the licks, maybe a close approximation, actually. It's some cool playing, um, but uh, I didn't have time to get to all, it all today. So I'm going to, we're playing in the key of D, remember, because we're capo too. So come on, close up, close, 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 close right there okay so there's d it's really kind of in the key of b minor actually i should say and so we're going to play b at the 12th fret of the b string and then c sharp at the 14th fret and d at the 15th fret i'm using my first second and third fingers because i'm so high up the neck and i'm kind of using mandolin technique because of the position of the instrument 
and you do the same fingering and same fretting on the first string. So you've got B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G. And then just slide up to an A and come back to the F sharp with the first finger. That's the first phrase. And then the second phrase it goes through the first six notes and then comes back to the E. And I slide down to D to the B. It just adds this phrase E, F sharp, E, D, B. 12th fret, 14th fret, 12th fret, slide down to the 10th, and then the 12th fret. Like that. Okay, have fun. Okay, here's a little picture of the tab for you for these different parts. I can come in all the way on each part. So, you know, here's the first measure of this first picked part in the intro. And then second measure with the C. And then third measure with the G. There's the F measure. Coming all the way out so you can see that again. And then there's the strum part. You can see that's kind of a down, down, up, up, down, up. Or sorry, a down, down, miss on the three. And then up, down, up. You can see that through the measures. There's the C chord, there's the G chord, there's the F chord. And then finally, this is the finger-picked pattern that I added. That first A minor measure should have a down stem on the 2 on the D string. But there you go. There's A minor, there's C, there's G, there's F. And there's the whole thing together, if you want to take a screen grab.